Rent to own. <laughs> We've been slumming it on the ass end of the frontier for three years. Damn right it is. Oh, you fuck. One C bill is valued at one millisecond of HPG transmission time. Ah, that's cool. I like how this one gives me more backstory on the actual thing. Because we've been yeah. playing Mech Warrior 5, and I don't know all the backstory. Like, you give it to me here and there, but mm -hmm. this gives you way more. Yes. This one slows down, it's more like a tabletop, so it gives you lore and stuff like that. Mech Warrior 5's more of like the action pack, you know, get in battles and get your adrenaline. Okay, so when she said our jump ship, you don't actually have a jump ship. It's just the jump ships have certain areas, like a bus transit. Okay. Yeah. So the bank is making sure that you don't get very far. If you go into captain's quarters, you should have the little glowy mech. Yep. This is where you can select your logo, you can change the name of the actual clan, you can change the colors of your mech. If you had imported your logo, your logo would be here so that you would be able to select it. I don't know how to do that. We'll do that was, for next time. Yeah, I was going to walk you through it, but for now, just pick whatever you think you like. And then you have the thing and you can change the name. And yes, this is kind of meta. 
because you have the little mech figures and paint. So you're like painting mech figures <laughs> from the tabletop. Um. This is what I name all my stuff now. <laughs> all right, you want to change the logo? Um, you where's a temporary one for now? Where's that one that I had? It was really cool too. There it is. Yep, that's my temporary logo right there. Okay, so I suggest you look around, hover over things, explore at stuff, get familiar with this user interface. Estimated operating costs. Damn. 234000 a month. Okay, so... Got it. Bays. Nice to see you down here in the hole. Need something? <clears throat> So I have to upgrade mech bays and everything. Oh, so you can store partial mechs. Yes. And that's how you make full mechs. Yes. Ah, okay. I'll make it fit. Okay, so infinite storage capacity in the mech cold storage. Like I said, as much as it's different, it's still the same. Yeah. Um, oh, okay, well. Oh, uh, okay, so that, that's, got it. Got it. So the different manufacturers do do different things to the weapons. Correct. Um, how do I repair a mech? Yeah, so that's the same as Mech Warrior 5. Got it. What if I want to change mech loadouts? Can I refit it with new weapons and equipment? Ooh, now you're talking. Okay, so... Are there limits? Yes, there's obviously limits. Of course there are limits. Your biggest constraints are the chassis. Yeah, alright, we already know this. Hard points are what you can put in each slot and everything else, yeah. Um, heat stability and modifiers. Let's talk about heat. Mech warrior sitting and walking fusion reactors, yeah? Yep. Okay, yeah. So, essentially, it's almost exactly the same. I just gotta watch my heat with the weapons and things. Some weapons cause more heat than other weapons, and vice versa. Um... All right. Come back anytime. So now what I want to see is this. Okay. So okay. First of all, you have your bay storage components. So it's your bay is what's out. The storages are what's in your storage. Components are extra parts you have laying around. So that's your cold storage. That's where your components are. So that's your inventory. Weapons, ammo, equipment, etc. Okay. Now back at your bay.
you have your loadout there at the right. Okay. You see where it says pattern. This yes. is different than the paint job. When you change the patterns, it will change the way that the paint job is done on that mech. So you could like flip between them and it shows you the different patterns for the color schemes you chose. That's cool as shit. We and like now, pattern one. Okay. Oh, now yeah, that's, that's pattern six. There we go. You have the. Let's go and refit. Don't worry about repair yet. Go and refit. And now you can get a look at it. Similar ah, it looks exactly like the other one. Yes. So, as you can see, you can click on the very top. There's a wrench that's orange. That's the repair all, similar oh, to one. like Mech Warrior. Yep. So strip you equipment, click, strip armor, max armor. And max armor, it. just like Mech Warrior 5. Next to that, you have your tonnage, the tons remaining. You have your uh, ballistic energy, missile, uh, support, and jump jets. Support weapon hard. Okay, so there's a support weapon spot on here. There's two, actually. Well, I'm saying on the left torso, and then one on the right torso. Yes. yes. Yeah, I like how it shows that each one of them has what, like, each slot has, essentially. So, like, okay. the left leg has nothing, but this one's got a missile hard, or a laser hard point and a support hard point. Right. So I could switch out the laser for more rockets if I wanted to. Uh, don't... So. Yeah, because look, there's a zero of one for rockets here. Zero for one rockets where? On the right torso, sorry. On the right torso? Yeah, so you got one one laser, zero of one rocket on the right torso. Uh-huh. And then same thing on the left torso. So I could literally switch out the laser for a rocket if I wanted. No, because there's no rocket slots. So it says can't... there's a rocket slot on there. Oh, no, that's a fucking... Never mind, that's a, a support slot. My bad. Yes. And support is like the AMS and stuff. Yes. Okay, got you. Sorry, I was I was looking at it wrong. AMS. It's, um, I think. I was saying zero of one because it's the zero of ones to the right of the rockets, and I'm used yeah. to looking to the right and not the left. No. So, yeah. Yeah. And now another question: Is there tier one, tier two, tier three weapons, or are they all just sort of? Yes. Yes, there is sort of those. The difference is, instead of it saying tier 1, 2, and 3, you'll see a M laser, M laser plus, M laser plus plus. Okay, okay. There's really nothing else that I want to put on here, because, like, I have nothing, so... Okay. So, like I said, there's stuff you could tweak, as you see you have your armor as well. So, like, for me personally, on this particular mech, I wouldn't really use jump jets. But if you were partial to them, then keep them. It's up to you. They're half a ton. So if you take out two or all of them, right? Is there a quick takeout? No. Is right clicking doesn't take it out? Nope. Then you just drag and drop it. You don't have to drag it all the way. Just drop it all out of the slot. There you go. And now and then... you can say put the heat sinks from your right torso into your, like, your center torso of your head. And you can put more heat sinks in there so that you can do more shooty shooty. Now, you only have four heat sinks. Yeah. But you can actually only put two in there anyway. One. Or, say you want more armor instead of heat. You can also take one of those off and then change more armor so that you can take more of it. Actually, heat. yeah, let's do this. Um, Because you have 75 and 75 and then 90 in the chest. Customize these as much as you want. Things up there. Yeah. Okay. So 110 now, in the chest, 90-90. As far as I know, say for example. You don't like the AC2s, right? Let's say you want to go up to, say, AC5s. Yeah. Okay. I can't do that right now, but... I'm just saying. There is no small, medium, large oh. ballistic slot. There's a ballistic slot, and there's an energy slot. So, 
you can choose to put as big or a small component right. in that slot as long as it is of that type. Does that make sense? Yeah, I got you. Okay. If it's ballistic, it's just a ballistic. It doesn't have to be an AC-2. It could be an AC-10. It could be whatever. Yes. But we also have to work on tonnage versus... Exactly. Yeah. Oh, so I could keep one, two, three, four, five. I can keep six mechs here, and then if I do bay two, bay three, six, twelve, eighteen mechs total in yeah. in rotation. Road. Yes. All right. So this so, is that shadow hawk. Yeah, which shouldn't take practically any damage at all. Yeah. The vindicator needs to be refit. Um. Okay. So you have to replace the arm first of all, because the arm was destroyed. So you have to click replace. You can also just click repair and it'll repair everything. Yeah, that's what I did. I hit repair. Um, all right, so I don't have another PPC. Okay. So you have two energy slots over there. So you could choose to either leave it blank or put in something else, like a large laser or medium laser. Probably two medium lasers if you want. Um, instead. Um, and then... Heat sink, heat sink. Uh, this is the one without jump jets too, right? That's up to you. I prefer to take it off because right now she can't snipe or anything, so she yeah. really doesn't need it. Yeah, no. In which case, she probably won't need as much heat sinks. Also, points. the thing is, see how the S laser is in that slot over there? But it's yeah. showing that it is a That support. it's not using anything. Yeah, I got you. S lasers, machine guns, and I think flamers are support, not actually ballistic or energy. Okay. They're half a ton. So if you take that off, that gives you another half a ton that you can play with. That you can do their armor. She has enough heat sinks. That she should be good, and like always, I move my LR my ammos always to the leg. I always move them to the leg. Like I said, I would take off the S laser. I mean, it's it's all right. I mean, I still have two tons. It's true. In which case, you can always just sit there and click the max armor button and see what you get. Everything that. maxed out, almost well, except for the legs. I would take off the back armor like if anything just dropping them a tick each on the right and left torso to 50 and then you could put a tick each in the leg yeah, and you still have room to even do more there you go and like I said you get your legs up high enough you'll be good because the number that you're increasing is the armor if you look at the top right of that where it says right leg S, 55, that S is yeah. the structure. Oh, okay. So you have to get through with 100 armor and then 55 structure in order it's gonna to pull be, off that leg. It's going to be uneven, but... That's fine. It's up to you, however, which way you like. Uh, it's like, like if I take so... it off, then I'm 44.94. If I just go ahead and pop one on, you right. see... But you can also just take off one tick on the center torso backside. You have 70 Yeah, there. sure. Boom. And so, there you go. Boom. And even. And higher even. 61,000. Jesus Log Christ. And note. Yep. Shouldn't be too hard. All right. For the spiders, not a whole lot you can do with it. But I just wanted to look up. Oh, I got to replace this. Yeah, just go ahead and replace everything. Uh, technically, once again, I put the jump jets in the legs and in the center torso, keeping it away from danger um hell you can even put one in the head if I remember oh no, no. I guess you can't they're over there in the dismount you can always just move them back over um alright and there you have it um 46,000 yeah 46,000 just to move stuff around and repair it and like I said, fortunately you can't do anything with the armor or anything. And then you have a locust. I'm not even worried about the locust right now. 
is you want to change the paint jobs on the other ones because I know you looked at the Shadowhawk and the Blackjack. I don't know if you looked at the. I, I didn't, but it's it's already tasked in progress right now. Yeah, the paint is free, so you can always do it when it's over. Yeah. Um. So I just want to look into the Shadowhawk real quick. Yeah. Cool. Um. Let's see. Like I said, I move the ammo. I always go in and move the ammos down because they always put the ammo in the piece in the shoulders. And if you get critted and then it blow up, it's fudged. Yeah, in the leg. I just don't like that, but it is what it is. Um, well, technically, I don't like my jump jets on the Shadowhawk, but that's up to you again. So I, I really the wasn't jet using off. the jump jets on this guy. I use him mainly on the other one. Exactly. And um, I all right, so... And the heat sinks into the center. And that yeah. gives you a, a few more tons to play with to max out the armor. And then adjust it from there. 45 in the head. I really shouldn't take too many headshots. Um, like I said, you can adjust the back as well. The rear armor and whatnot. Getting little tweaks here and there. Getting it to get the way you want. And like I said, you have your readings on the top with firepower, movement, durability, melee, average range, and heat efficiency. Yeah, so that's kind of lame. All right, let's just do it this way. That's insane. Uh, the reason your numbers are off is because some of your stuff is off, like your left and right arm are at 64. Yeah, so the same thing with the back. Yep. Yeah. It's fine. I'll just leave it this way. Right. I'll get it in the skip. Alright. Now, Barracks shows all my mech warriors. Okay. Now, this is another thing. As I explained, mm -hmm. everyone has these stats, and you get these points when you get a certain amount of experience. See how you... Well, you don't get points. You get experience that you spend the experience in things. So, for example, you have 2,800 on you. Yeah. So, if you wanted the next part of gunnery, it's going to cost you 1,600. The next one's going to be 2,500. Uh -huh. So, you're paying for whatever you want. And then when you're done spending your points, you get confirm and it'll lock in place. Now, the big square stuff that you see at 5 and you see at 8... Yeah. Those are skills, like the skills they get to use in combat. You only get one five skill and one eight skill. Oh, so I would have to choose between each of these fives and each of these eights. Like one, two, three, yes. four. Okay, got it. Um, so based on what you want your mech pilot to do and based on how you're building your pilot will change their class, quote unquote. So like how right now you're considered a... Uh, recruit so like I said if you want yourself to multi you also have to look at what it does gunnery affects the actual base hit chance yeah piloting affects your melee base hit then you have your health and More then at the bottom team. you have indirect fire and stuff like that I put one into guts and one into this that's fine oh and I just up my injuries too to four instead of yeah, Three. more gut means more injuries you can sustain. More hit points, essentially. Ah, and I went to gunner. And now you're specialized as a gunner, yes. And like I said, so basically when you're making these pilots or doing their points, you have to have an idea of a build that you went in. Like, what do you want them to do? And that way, you can give them the stats that they want and the skills that... The stats you want and the skills you want to help them out to be able to do the things you want. So, like I said, you look at the, the skills, look at the stuff that you can do, and then you can start planning. Like, for example, if you're going to build someone to be a missile bolt, then you're going to probably want tactics. Yeah. That way you can do indirect fire, but you can also do gunnery so that you can have a higher chance of hitting. 
So those two work side by side, you know. If you want someone to be a brawler, you're gonna want them to have like pilot guts and, and yeah. guts, yeah, and stuff like that. So you would have to pick and choose what you want them to be. She's gonna be my up close defender currently because that's what she's kind of set okay. up for. So now, do you want her to be a up close defender? So you want her to be a brawler? Yes. Okay, so piloting guts like she already had. yeah, yeah. That's okay. I, and I can't I can't really do anything with her currently. So yeah. Um. And this then, and you can she was in a medium mech too. She's tactics, so I may just make her a long She's range. The, yes. Yeah. See how it says indirect fire penalty yeah. minus one. Yeah. So the more she gets, the better her missiles will be. Now, I always have. If I'm gonna have a missile boat person, I always have a scout, essentially somebody that can actually pick off targets. Not pick off targets. Um, okay, so for example, look down at tactics and look at the first five skill. Yeah, sensor, sensor lock. lock. So if sensor lock takes your turn, by the way, so you don't get to shoot, you don't get to do anything else. But what happens is when you sensor lock them, they become available to be targeted by missiles. It also drops hmm. their evasion by two, making it easier to hit. So you get your scout, like what I do is I So you would do piloting and tactics for a scout. Correct. But I would get the sensor lock ability Training for complete. um my scout. I just gotta wait. And I put him in the spider because I can yeah. have him jump yeah, makes or sense. run really far. Yeah. And to a spot where he's safe, he can sensor lock a target, and then my LRM boat to Yeah, that makes sense. But I usually run with a brawler, a gunner, a scout, and a miss. Thought it was etc. It's it etc. 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 Okay. Ah, we owe some shit to Merrick. I am not a fan of that. <laughs> I don't. I'm not really a fan of Merrick, man. It's fine. Like from what we were playing, the other one, I'm I'll not a it. fan of Merrick. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay, Seek and Destroy. So these are the contracts, and it tells me how hard the contract is right here. Max so Salvage, have, 2 out of 11. You have the type of mission, the planet, the <clears> difficulty, <throat> um, the payment, the salvage that you'll get, rep. And you see how it shows a planet icon with an arrow on the bar where it says 12 days? Yeah, so we have to travel to it. Yep, it's not here. Oh, there's a hiring hall? So here you have the store in the hiring hall. What is that motherfucker? So mask. MRB rating too low. Yeah, he won't work with you because you don't have a good Matter. review. You have to get your ranks up in order to get better pilots. Now, how do you get a pilot that you can... Customize? Like, yeah. I don't know right if you here. really can. It might be possible when you hire one of these that you can mess around with them. I mean, I can't afford to hire one of them right now. And like I said, you can look Greetings, in the store Come on in. too, just to see what's there. Oh. <laughs> Partial mix salvage assassin. Assassin. Okay. Ooh, there's some AC5. AC5 plus. UAC20? So, what? When you hover over it, and it's... When it... LBX2... There's an LB-2X. So, the LB-2X is kind of like the LBX-10. Long-range shotgun. Got it. Yes. 
but like, dude, they, they I'm just stuck on this fucking UAC 20. <laughs> yeah, a UAC 20. We didn't get yeah. that in Mech Warrior 5. <laughs> what? <And> that just hit him. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm sitting here just like, that's what I'm stuck on right now. Okay, a UAC so, 20. Yeah, hover over it. I'll uh, give you a readout. Okay, oh, so, I was already reading it. Yeah, so damage, 100 points of damage. Yeah. Times, times two. two. It <laughs> yeah. does stability damage forty yeah. times two, it's and it does ridiculous. forty-eight. And then you have your range. Fucking re shredder auto cannon is what it is. Got it. Yeah. I kind of want it, plus, but I'm not going to spend half and you of read my the shit. Bonuses, it tells you what the plus, uh, plus does. two accuracy. But not all plus means it's a plus two accuracy. Yeah, You'd have I got to you. keep looking at that one. Stability. Stability damage. damage. I got you. This allows you to start customizing damage. your mechs, essentially. That's cool, dude. I mean, I can't... I, I really can't afford anything right now. No, no, it was just to look around. Yeah. Um, Alright, so... 